from Mountain Gal Creations. Um, I started doing lives for Unique in the Creek um, on their rail boards. Um, Lori calls me her rail queen, let's put it that way. Um, but the Flamingo uh, rail kit from Unique in the Creek, I believe, came out this week. Um, so I'll kind of show you a little teaser of what I have in mind. Um, I've added stuff to the kit. You don't get all this in the kit. I will show you what you get in the kit though. Um, you get the white tool. It is, whoop, sorry, it was like really blurry. Here we go. Um, it's six inches by 25 feet, I believe. Um, so you get the white tool in the kit. Um, of course, you get their rail board. And I ended up using two of these because I kind of wanted to wrap what I wanted around here for this rail board. Like I said, I've added stuff to it, but you get the rail board, the tool. They also give you these gorgeous ribbons. So here is the five eighths ribbon. Um, here is one and a half inch. It's um, like green with like a pink stitch edging on it. And then you also get this one and a half inch flamingo ribbon. So that comes in the kit. Um, you also get a package of 100 zip ties. Um, they also include the pipe cleaners to where you can um, do a bow, you can use them to hang with, um, attach your sign, um, which you couldn't really attach the sign with pipe cleaners to the rail. Um, let's see, what else was there? Oh, they also gave you E6000 glue, which you use to attach the sign to the board. Um, oh, they also, almost forgot, you get like the little easy bow, um, bow maker, kids bow maker. I love these. This is like the handiest little thing for me when I do rails. I love it. Um, let's see, I think that was it. Let me check my thing. Um, Oh yeah, and the flamingo sign. Here we go, Carrie, the main star of the show. This is a 12 inch flamingo sign that you get with the kit. So there's that. Um, but like I said, I did add to this myself. Um, with the kit, like I said, you just get the 12 inch sign, the rail board, the tool, the three rolls of ribbon, um, the easy bow, the kids bow maker, pipe cleaners, and glue, and the tool, your white tool. Um, okay, so I'm gonna, I kind of started to see if this is kind of how I wanted. Um, hello, Lynn, hello, Billy, hello, Tina. Okay, so here is what I've done. Um, I've done two rail boards. And you can take the E6000 and you put it all over. You can, I wouldn't recommend putting it all over the sign because the sign is a bit bigger than your rail board. Because this is only like 10 and a quarter inches or something like that. And that's 12 inches. So I would just put it here on the circle, the E6000. Put your sign on there, line it up how you want it, and then let it put something really heavy. You all see this box over here. I have a bunch of metal signs and stuff like that in it, super heavy, and I set it on there and let it set overnight. Um, but like I said, I done two boards because I wanted um, to make my design with the flowers and all that stuff kind of extend on around. 
Um, I just love this sign. I went and found the other stuff, which I got from Michael's, and I'll show you that. Um, they had an awesome, like, I don't know, tropical theme this year at Michael's. Um, and uh, I think it was like 50% off and 40% off or whatever, but... Guys, I couldn't attach the sign, and the reason so is because it has to set overnight, and I wouldn't be able to craft, um, because you have to attach it with the E6000 that comes with it, which I showed you, um, which is here, and I kind of explained, um, put the glue here, then line your sign up, and then so set something really heavy on it overnight. So that's only downfall kind of with the metal signs. You have to kind of let them set overnight because if not, then me working and all that stuff, it'll end up shifting it and all that stuff. So hello, Patricia. Thank you, Kelly. Hello, Marianne. Okay, so let me show you what I did go because I just, I don't know. I love this sign and I wanted it to be kind of a little over the top for me um but i really liked it nadia got me in the <laughs> mood on the tropical stuff so um i did go to michael's and they have this garland of course i don't think you really have to get the garland i think they got a bush but i went ahead and got the garland um it's called the green monstera garland it's like 20 bucks but 50 percent off and it's like let's see how long of a garland was it uh six foot so i'm not sure how much we're gonna use yet but i got it also got this green fern i'm not sure what it is called i ended up getting the only one they had it didn't have a sticker on it so I was just like, okay. So she just kind of looked it up online. She couldn't find it online. So they just agreed to a price and gave it to me. So I'm sorry, but here's what it looks like. There's some light green and dark green on it. I just kind of liked it because um, how the sign kind of has like a little fern look to it. Um, and then they had these which they just called a um pink succulent but you got three of these on a stem and if anybody wants the um skew numbers or whatever you can just message me after the live and i don't care at all to give them or i can go back into the live and post it if you all want just let me know but um hello from manitoba and um i can like i said give you all the skews or i could just go in and um but there it is and then there's these little guys they were on a bush um they only had one so i don't know what it was with i guess everybody went in they got these really pretty kind of tropical pink like flowers um they called them hot pink pomelos which I really, really, really like those. Those are really cute. Um, then I also got some Plumera. Just kind of add in for some fillers. And also got some light pink hibiscus. And some darker pink hibiscus. So, I attached the second rail with the E6000. Uh, first, I put the sign on here, and, um, or no, I didn't actually. First, I put the two signs together how I wanted them. Ah, oh, I didn't get that stuck in there. And then... I come back and lined up 
how I wanted this on the board. And then, like I said, I just laid it fat and set something really heavy on top. Like I said, y'all see my box over here in the background. I have like a bunch of metal and wood signs in there. And I just set it on top of it overnight. Okay, so let's see. Oh, no, hibiscus are so pretty. I wish I could like grow them here, but I can't. <laughs> okay, Veronica, I'll do um, the SKU numbers and stuff. I'll go back on the replay and add it in. Um, that way y'all can uh, see. Oh, I forgot to zip tie this in. I'll have to go back and do that here in a second. So, okay. Um, any other questions? Well, thank you, Lynn. Okay, Nancy, if I didn't answer it, or if others didn't answer it, I will go back and... Um, watch the replay myself and I'll answer questions if nobody else did or you can ask them again and I'll try and answer them. Well hello from Fayetteville, Tennessee. Okay so I'm gonna bring you all down to the board and uh, start I guess start attaching stuff, show you how I attach stuff and we'll go from there. Alright. Uh, Bring you down. All right, I think we all can see pretty good there. Does that look okay for everybody? Hello from Virginia. I'm originally from West Virginia. I'm in Vermont at the moment. Okay, so what I did first was <laughs> I Got out the little measure buddy that you can also get from uniqueinthecreek.com and I made these um, 12 inches so just get your tool and let's see I guess I should kind of put it over here huh uh, just slide it in here you don't have to slide it in there you can just hold it um, on the thing if you want up to you and I just wrap it like six, seven times, which this was count as one. Going up the back side counts as two. So then there's three, four, five, six, seven. And then, uh, got it sliding off here. Just take it and cut it off there. All right, and then we'll just, oops, yeah, that's sliding it the right way. And just slide it off there. These adjust. You get this in and then this in. If y'all have never seen the measure, buddy, it goes out to um, 20 inches fully. But I just done 12 inches. So then slide it off. And then I'm going to take it. And we're going to kind of fold it in half. And I used the little zip ties, which I showed you all last week. Um, just a little four inch zip ties. You can get them from, I think, Dollar Tree, Walmart, any hardware store or whatever. Yes, Snowshoe was one place that got a good bit of snow. Hello, hello everybody! So I'm going to take the 4 inch zip tie and I'm going to put it around. I'm not going to zip it all the way because I want to make sure these are even. I don't think it would really matter too much because I'm kind of using the tool just to kind of hide the board and then we're just adding like this stuff on top. But I do want to try and make sure it's even because I am OCD. <laughs> So, and then I just pull it, get the zip tie closed, so, oh, West Virginia is beautiful, I miss it so much, I mean, Vermont's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but I, I just, I don't know, I just love how nice people are down there, I just love, 
I don't know. It's just the closeness, I guess, of everybody. Like, up here, people are just kind of rude, and I'm just, I'm over it all. But anyway. So then I just take it, and then I cut where we had the, um, kind of loops on one end. Just take it, kind of separate it, put your scissors in the loop. And then just cut it. I'm sorry, I'm probably not even in the camera here. I guess I should kind of scoot up closer here. I'm sorry, y'all, if you didn't see it. I'll be doing it again, so it ain't gonna matter. Alright, sorry, I had to cut off the end. It was a little longer. Okay, then I'm gonna grab one of our six inch zip ties. Alright, hello, Miss Lori! Okay, so I'm not doing um, every hole around here. Um, I mean, you can if you want, but like I said, we're just going to end up kind of covering it with all of our pretty flowers and ribbon and all that stuff. Um, I think I'm going to end up putting like a bow here, so I'm not going to add too much there. So I'm just using like the inner circles and I've done every other one so far. Um, so, uh, use our tool from where I cut it. So right here is our last um, tool piece. So I'm gonna skip that one and come over here, put our zip tie through. And like always, make sure the flat, I'll show you the flat part. Uh, see the flat part there? Make sure that's always facing up. That way when you put it through, it'll make a zipping sound. If not, you go through the back, it won't zip. Of course this one, it won't even let you put it in backwards on these zip ties. So. Here I am, not even in camera, but it won't let you put it through backwards. But always make sure the flat head is facing up. And then you hear the little zip sound. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm taking the tool and I'm just laying it here. And I'm facing it out. That way we're not covering up our pretty sign. I love the sign. The flowers all come from Michael's. Oh, sorry, you missed this. Yeah, I don't know, like, don't get me wrong, like I said, Vermont's a beautiful state and all that, but I miss West Virginia. Like I said, the, Michael, the flowers come from Michaels. I'll um, go back and um, either add it to the post or probably make a comment um, in the replay, and I'll, um, add like skew numbers and all that stuff to it. So I'm gonna put this here. Alright. We'll do two more. Alright. Yeah Michael's had like I don't know, their theme was kind of like tropical this year for their summer collection, so um, my local Michaels didn't have much. I ended up having to go to Saratoga, New York to get it, so okay, so again, we're opening our measure buddy at 12 inches. I put one end of the tool in there, and then we're just going to wrap it, so there's our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and just cut it, Oops. and then just slide it off, make sure you slide it the right way, because I'm sliding it the wrong way, and just slide it up, again, just grab it, kind of fold it in the middle, like I said, I use the four, little four inch zip ties for this. So, just kind of put it through there. You don't have to do this. I guess you could put it down on the board. 
and um, then cut it once you get it on the board. Um, I just kind of was making some of these up ahead of time and trying to figure out how I wanted to lay out my flowers and all that stuff on the board. So, all right, so I'm going to slide this over a bit. There we go. And um, so I just kind of done it this way. That way I had them made up already and I could place them where I wanted to. So you can kind of skip this step if you want. Then I'll just come back. Put my scissors through the loops, kind of pull a little tight, and then just snip. Or, like I said, you can put the zip tie already in the board, then just put where you folded it in half, put the zip tie down, and then cut it that way. Up to you. My main reason was, I, like I said, I was trying to figure out how I wanted to design the board, and so I just kind of made some up ahead of time and done them. And, all right, so, all right, I'm going to have to mess up a hair, I think. Keep getting out of the thing, so. Oh yeah, Saratoga is beautiful. So isn't Glens Falls. Glens Falls is awesome. I love Lake George. The Lake George area is just, oh, it's beautiful. I took a boat ride last year on Lake George, and we um, we had rode the Minnehaha there um, several years ago. It's one of our mine and Randy's dates, and um, we had rode the Minnehaha, a little steamboat. It only takes you so far out, so this past summer, we was like, Oh well, we're gonna we're gonna take the big boat ride. So um, we went from one end of Lake George to the other, and that is a very big lake. <laughs> so all right. So again, that, and we got one more to do, guys. You could probably save yourself some steps. Um, and add some of this greenery in as you're doing that so you're saving zip ties but for teaching I'm just kind of you know showing you all what to do so all right let's see, grab our measure buddy again all right I haven't been to too many places in New York but those are a couple, other than driving on the interstate to go back home to West Virginia to see my mom and dad and my sister and niece and nephew. So, again, 12 inches on the measure, buddy. And then we just wrap it, well, wouldn't be technically seven times, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Alright, and then we're just going to slide this off, grab it in the middle again, there we go, don't be a goof like me and screw it up there. <laughs> okay, so then I just kind of get them as even as you can, and then I'll just put the zip tie in. I'll just use the little four inch ones. Oh yes! I was wanting to meet Jan Cook um, this last time I went, but I didn't get to. We had we had a family friend to pass and we had his um, scattering of ashes and it just, I knew him since I was a kid. He was one of my best friends. So that was hard for me. Sorry, don't mean to cry, but it was rough and I just, I just couldn't. So, but yes, um, in August, I'm not sure. Um, my niece and nephew want to go camping. So, um, I don't know if we'll go the end of July, because I know in August they uh, go back to school usually the second week 
Um, so I'm not sure yet. We haven't really planned that. So, all right. So then, um, yes, they do. I have been wanting to go and we keep, uh, screwing up and, um, forgetting about it, Dottie. But yes, I do want to go to the hot balloon, hot air balloon festival. I love hot air balloons. So, okay. And then I just stick my scissors through, just cut the loops. Oh, I'm telling you, it just, it was rough because when I went in, he was supposed to have come in from New York. He lived in, um, right above Buffalo and, uh, that's where he lived with his sister. And, um, he usually come into West Virginia and stay in the whole summer. And I didn't get to see him last year because I come in at a different time and he had already went back. So I didn't get to see him and he's like, well, I'll see you the end of April. And um, I end up going in early um, in March because I had my aunt to pass and um, we had talked to him. He had every plans to come down and we got a phone call the end of March from his sister and she said that he had passed away and I was like what do you mean he passed away so um here he had not been feeling good um he was run down sleeping a good bit and come to find out he had acute leukemia so uh, they gave him two to three months and he lasted two weeks So, yeah, it was, it was a bit rough for me. So he, he was my guide to the outdoors. He taught me the love for the outdoors. I love to hike, camp. Um, I don't really hunt. Um, I have went fishing and all that, but I'm more of like the camping and hiking and geocaching and stuff. And so it was a bit rough. And usually when I get in those moods, I just kind of keep to myself. <laughs> so that's why I didn't go and see too many people when I was in. Um, I did see um, my high school best friend. Um, me and her got together. But I mainly just stayed with my fam. Um, my nephew, he joined Little League. And oh my goodness, let me tell you what. He has never um, played any sports or anything because um, his his dad passed away four years ago. So um, he's never been in any sports. So my sister's boyfriend talked him into joining Little League and he joined Little League Baseball. That kid can hit the ball. Thank you, guys. And um, he, uh, they have been trying him out different sports places on the field and right now they got him catching he loves it he loves catching and like I said the kid can hit the ball and it's just unbelievable you know for somebody that has never played or anything he's 10 or 11 sorry and um he just it's crazy at how good he is for never you know having played or even really watch baseball or anything but it was awesome I got to see him play several times and he called me Sunday for my birthday and my mom made him a bet that um if he hit it in the outfield he got twenty dollars from her so um he told me that Mamma owed him twenty dollars because he hit the ball in the outfield <laughs> so he was very proud of his little self <laughs> for hitting it out in the outfield <laughs> So that kind of made my day. Okay, so like I said, we done the mesh 12 inches and then fold it in half and cut it. And then I put it every other hole on the rail board, which like I said, I done two because I wanted it to just kind of be nice and flowy. And um, so here is 
this, um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess I'll extend it out there. So I think I'm going to cut it right about here. So that's another thing about this garland. It also covers a good bit. And so for these, I'll be using the outer holes. And for this tool, of course, you can just take your zip ties and go right through the tool. Not a problem. So um, I'm going to take this, lay it on here. I also want to grab part of our fern. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off the stem here. All right. So let's see. Um, these are light green, so I'm going to take one of these kind of darker ones and add it to the top. Switch a maroon here. All right, and then I'm just going to go ahead and cut it right where this other one starts. So out of this bush, you can get several different ones because the stem on it has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think on about almost each of them, because I used part of them over there. And you got, I think, three stems. Yeah, three stems on it. So that's why I only got one of them, because there should be enough here to do everything. So I kind of wanted the light green and the dark green, because I want to kind of add it up here. And I kind of, if I can, I want to zip tie it in with this. So I'm just going to go down and go to our, you got like the main branch running through your garland. So that's what I'm going to zip tie to the board. So get this. And like I said, I'm going to use the outer part of the board because if you try and go to the inner part, you're going to cover up your side. So we're going to use the outer part. Okay, and then let's see. Let me grab. I don't want one of the little ones, the bigger ones. So, but yes, I love my little nephew Ben and and baseball. He absolutely loved it. So it was pretty awesome. And I think I'm gonna use the outer hole on the board. On this, we can just kind of separate the tool. Put our zip tie in there. And place our greenery. I'll move it back here. I'm not going to zip tie that down because I don't want to kind of hold it hostage. So we'll put that in there. And then we'll add our fern in here and zip tie it to the board. Now you can add a dab of hot glue to this once you get it to how you like it. Um, kind of for extra um, strength or whatever to it if you want. You don't have to. Um, some of them I do. It just depends. That way I can get them to lay how I want. But most usually the zip ties, they'll basically just do what I want. So there's that. So we'll get that in there. Can y'all see okay? I'm sorry. I hope you can. I know it's kind of hard to see. I can't really get any closer, but let me know if you can see okay. And then I'm just going to take this branch and kind of go on around our board to kind of keep the curve of the rail. Okay, thanks, Lynn. And again, it actually kind of stops here, so I'm just going to put it in the outer hole again, our zip tie. And then I am going to, and they have them kind of flipped front and back, which you can just twist them around. So I'm also going to add 
another one of these, but I think, how many of these light green? Yeah, I think I'm gonna, again, take one of these off and add the light green to it. Just kind of give it that different mix here. So I'm also gonna take that, I think this time, and uh, maybe not. I think I'll go on top of them this time, actually. And then I'm just gonna zip tie them to the board. So, okay, thank you ladies, appreciate it. And then I'll probably just whack that off since it's cut it off with the wire cutter since they're kind of sticking out there a little longer. Maybe. Now that I may go ahead and come back and glue in later. I don't know. Of course I may have flowers there too to kind of zip tie over top and then maybe go back and put a little bit of glue to hold them in. Make sure they stay. Let me grab this. And... Okay. So. There's that. Alright. So now I'm going to grab some of my flowers. Let's see. Pull that out of the way. Oh, I also forgot to show. My goodness, I can't believe I forgot this. Oh, these cute little flamingo legs. I had Nadia from Nadia's um, Crafty Corner to make me some flamingo legs. She made me a couple because we weren't sure like what would look good with the board and I still had to kind of go back and kind of adjust them, but now we know. But I got these cute little legs for it. Um, we'll add them on here after we get all this, but I forgot to show you those too. <laughs> so I wanted like little blingy legs for it. So she made me some of those. Okay. So let's see. I don't want to make it like how the top is. I don't want to, well, I want to make it different. So let's see. Let's. Yeah, I have to do this last actually. Where's let me grab a hibiscus? So there's a pink one, there's a bright pink, I should say. And these, oh my goodness, when I got them, they were all smashed. So I got out my heat gun and kind of went over them and kind of got them all back in shape again. <laughs> it was awful. They were so smashed where they were in with all the others. So, And then I'm just going to take it and just kind of bend the stem a little bit so that I don't, you don't want to put the flower where it's like staring right at you. Like when you look at it, you don't want it staring right at you. You kind of want to put them at an angle. Um, because it's just, I don't know, they just kind of look funny when you do that. Um, I don't use the leaves that come with the hibiscus either. I didn't really care for them, but. So, all right, ooh, that one's got a tear in it. So let me grab another one of those dark pink, sorry guys. I didn't realize that. Uh, let me cut that a little too short, I don't know. Okay. So, here we go. So I'm going to take it, bend it a little bit. Alright, then we're going to go over here, find where our stuff is. So there is, so I'm going to end up using the middle hole and the outer hole. Because like I said, I don't want to use these inner holes because I don't want things hiding our pretty sign. So... We're just going to slide that in there, get our pipe cleaner in, pull in through there. All right, so let's put the bright pink one in. And 
I'll put them two together. So take this and kind of this one won't bend as good. It does have wire in it, but so and it's kind of hefty, so it'll want to kind of lay however you're holding it. It'll probably tend to go down. So on these ones, I do put a little bit of hot glue on the zip tie once I get it to where I want it. That way it'll stay because these are pretty top heavy. So we will go ahead and get it in here. Let's see, I think I'm gonna kind of stick that one out that way. And I'll put that in there and then I'll bend it how I want it once we get the zip tie, get it zip tied down here. Ah, there we go. All right, I'm not gonna do it all the way. Let me see, can I? Here we go. I'm gonna add one of our pink. I don't know what these are called again. I think pomelos. So I'm gonna add it to that same zip tie. So get it in here. Maybe if I can get it, there we go, over the pool there a little bit. I kind of want them, I don't want them like smushed to the board either. Kind of let them free flow or however you want to. Okay, I think I like it that way. Of course, I'll move the hibiscus here in just a second, but all right. So that in there. All right, slide that over. And we'll bend our hibiscus a little more. All right, I think, I don't really know till I set it up, so. <laughs> See how it looks. All right, so now I'm gonna go on down here, kind of look where my other holes are. All right here's our other holes, and let's see. We'll put in our other hibiscus, and let's see. Do there we go. Probably add some of our primeros to that. Okay, kind of broke them up on the other. I think I may keep this one whole. I'm gonna take these leaves off though and cut like. A little thing where the leaves were at on it off. So, okay, I'm just going to bring this up and put that, I think, there. See what it looks like. Come on. And get that to put snagging on the tool. Hmm. Oh no. I think maybe I'll just yeah, bring that one down a little bit. Yeah, I'll put that one in the next one. So we'll stick that in there. And we'll go ahead and grab a couple more of these and add in there. Just whatever you think looks good, guys. So uh no. I haven't been to the one in Saratoga. So again, I'm gonna add, I think, these to this right here. Maybe I'll 
maybe. No. Just gonna hide it. So that also, yep, we'll put that over top too. So I guess we're just gonna zip tie that one in there. So since it's just that one, I'm gonna try and use the little four inch ones. All right, so find our hole. And again, I'm gonna use the outer one since this is gonna kind of be laying towards the outer part of the board. So you can just put this right down through the tool. No problem whatsoever. I can separate the tool because the ends actually end right where that was at. And we'll just zip tie this in. The reason I zip tie is because hot glue on y'all will fall apart in certain weather, really hot weather. So if somebody down south wanted to buy this, then I don't have to worry about it falling apart, if you know what I mean. So that's why I try to zip tie all my flowers and stuff like that in. So, all right, I think actually I may go back and add one or two of the ferns, another fern or so in there actually. Yep, yep, is what I should have added with that actually. Okay, um, I did have a stem here, where'd it go? I thought I did, maybe I didn't. I think I done used it, so I will just grab this. Cut it here at the base. And I just want to give it more of that 3D effect, y'all. Like, you know. So I should have zip tied it in with that one, actually. But since I'm a goober, couldn't make up my mind. We'll just put another four inch zip tie and just zip tie it right over top of that one. That's the beauty of these boards. You can just go right over top of where you went. So no, it doesn't. I'm adding to the kit, Michelle. Seeing all these pretty flowers and stuff from Michael's and their little tropical thing. And I was like, oh, this would be so pretty with this board. The pretty flamingo. Okay. So I wanted to add this to it. All right. Because we got the hibiscus in there. Like I said, here we go, covering up the board. So let me adjust these a little bit. All right, so we're not covering it up. All right. So there is that. So again, I want to come down here with our lighter pink and our what was these again? Pomelos, I guess. And we will add them in down here. Let's see. I think I'll put that up there. And that there, actually. Okay. Then I'll go back in, I think, maybe with some of these and just kind of add them here, there. Here, there, and yonder, as we say. So, okay, I'm going to grab another little four inch zip tie. So, okay. So again, I'm just going to go over top of the one zip tie that we already done when we were putting in our, um, our garland piece. So we're just going to, let's see. Oh, do I want, do I want that? Yeah. See, just twist stuff around. See what you like, guys. 
you know, I had that down, you couldn't really see it, so twist it around, now you got that pointing up, and you see how pretty, like, how spiky the end of it is, and so, so yeah, so we'll just take that, and our other hibiscus, I'm zip tied in there and then I'll adjust them to how I want them. Okay, so bend that up a little more. Zip that on in. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put hot glue on that because these are still wanting to move a good bit for some reason. Well, maybe not. But I think I'll go ahead and do it since we're right here anyway. Well, it would help if I had that plugged in. Hey. Oh my goodness. Can't believe I forgot to. Plug that in. Okay. Or you can use E6000. That would probably be a little better if you wanted. Alright. So there's that. Alright. What you guys think so far? You can't see a whole lot of it, but there it is. Thanks, G Man. Okay. So I'm going to grab, let's see. I said I want to try and put a bow here. I'm going to add this. This will cut it off right here. Maybe if I can get it out of the pool. So just play with it, guys. See what looks good. I think instead of that big guy there, we're going to switch these out. That's going to hide too much of the board. So we'll just switch out the bigger one and put the smaller one down here. Okay, I think that's how we want it. All right. <laughs> Shoo, I've been to Florida. I, I don't think my my thin blood, or thick blood, I should say, can take that. I was down there moving my great aunt um, back to West Virginia, and of course it was in the middle of July. Shoo, I cannot take that heat. No way. And again, I'm using the outside hole. Just sticking it right down through the tool. Let me find the hole. I know it's there somewhere. There it is. Alright. Just place on here again. I don't want that height angles. Want that to go in behind. Okay, so and again, bring this up. I'm just kind of zip tie it on. Probably should have zip tied a flower or two in with it, but. It'll be okay. Alright. 
and just move our flowers back up here, or our leaves, not really flowers, I guess. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and cut the very tippy end of that off so it's not sticking out there. Get another zip tie and go on around here to the next set of holes and zip tie it there too. Sorry, I'm going to slide it towards me here so I can pick it up. Okay, so and bring it through the tool. Should separate here. So that's where we put a piece in. All right. Sorry. And then zip tie it to the board. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. Shoo. Man, I couldn't. I couldn't take it. I don't know. It was too flat for me as well. I like my mountains. So it's a place I visit, but of course we were in, um, my aunt was in Homosassa Springs. So, um, all right. It's kind of hoping I may have to move that down a little bit to kind of, so it ain't hiding that. Let me zip tie that down or something. I'll wait till later. Okay. So I guess I'll add our third thing in here. See, I said I should have waited. Um, see if I can put that there to keep it at least from going up in there. So I'll put that there. Want some more of these ferns. Grab a couple more of those. Around here. So let's see. Goes that way. Bent up maybe a little more. Okay. Put that there. I'm gonna grab another dark pink hibiscus. Stick it in. And like I said, I don't use the leaves off of it. I didn't really care for the leaves on them. So, all right. Um, probably should have cut that a little longer, actually. Maybe not. So I can stick some of them plumeras right in there. All right, how many? Do that and that. I actually want to save. I only have one more of these, so go ahead and stick it right there, I think. Alright, I think I should go ahead and add. Before I do that, well, no, I can work it in around, so never mind. Okay. Sorry. I'm thinking as I go here. <laughs> or trying to, I should say. Okay, so there's that. Bend our hibiscus a little bit. And then. Stick that in there. Okay, I think I got it. So grab a zip tie. Anybody got any vacation plans for this summer? 
like, are you going anywhere special? Are you staying close to home? You know what you guys are doing this summer. All right, so I really don't want to restrict that. I don't want it in my zip tie for these. Yes, I'm not going anywhere, but back to West Virginia, since my niece and nephew are wanting to go camping. Might come back and had something there. Probably them Pooh Bears, actually. So where are you going this summer? Any summer plans? Any big trips anybody's taking this summer? I want to know where you're going. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me, tell me. More of our garland. I don't want a whole lot because we do need enough. Kind of. Whew. Let's see. Hello, Anne. Ooh, Helen, going on a cruise. Where are you going? I'm not big on ships, but going to Florida. Stay in Cali. I <laughs> retired always on vacation. Oh, well, that's awesome. That is coming from Kuwait home. Well, hey, weekend trips are awesome too, especially to go see grandkids. Oh, no, Lynn. I've always kind of wanted to go to Europe too, but I've never, I don't know. I don't, I don't do planes, unfortunately. All right. I'm not a, a flyer. Let's see, you guys, this is going to give me. That way. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna play around here. I don't know. I don't know that I like that part of it. Let's see if I can. I have to add a couple of stems here. I don't like the last one either. I guess I'll just whack off another piece here and add it in. Maybe. Well, oh, that's about the same as that, actually. Okay. So. Maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna put that one down first. Sorry, guys. It's kind of hard getting this stuff figured out. Or how you want it. And it's 
Mr. Tool. Get back in your lane. Sorry. Okay. So enough of that worked around there, I think. So I'll need that zip tie to yeah. Gonna use that for this too. Okay. So let me well this around here so I can get this zip tied in. So I think I'm gonna put that through there. Okay, and I don't want to put that down. I just want the main branch of each of these garlands. Sorry, guys. Kind of hard to see through all the leaves. Thank you, Elva. Hello, hello, hello. So, go ahead and zip tie that on in, cut her end off, okay. so do I need to, hmm. yeah, I think I better zip tie that in right there. That way it's not moving on me. Um, I don't work these to where it don't look too funny. Just kind of arrange them. So, okay. I'll put one more zip time. I'll go ahead and use a long one. That way I can grab all the other stems or veins of the garland too. Actually using the middle and bottom hole for this. Through the mesh, it's all I need you to do. Come in. Or the tool, I should say. Alright, now I want you come up there. Alright, sorry guys. Let me get it over to the edge so I can get it through the holes. Alright. Mess with these a little bit. Okay, here should have added that down in there. Let me get it here shortly. Okay, so I'll show you what we got so far, guys. Hopefully, it's kind of hard to see all of it, but. There's part of it. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the bow so I can get the bow in here. And then I'm going to add, I think, one of these little, these little guys up here, or one of the plumeras. I'm not sure yet. I kind of hide the hole there. Okay, so let's do the bow. All right. Then we can finish with the flowers, kind of work the flappers and all that around the bow. So I'm going to use the kid bows that comes with the kit. I'm going to use the gold. I thought about using the flamingo, but... Oh. Like pink overload, so to say. I want to bring the gold out in the sign, so I think I'm just going to... Use this if I can get it open. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. Go 
because with the rails, you don't really have to go big. I don't know. Do I want tails? Yeah, I guess that since it's on the side, we can do tails. Let's go ahead and do that. Again, I'm just judging. I'm just kind of holding up. I'll probably end up cutting them off, but I'd rather have them too long than too short. So, so there's that. Oh no, I don't know if I want to use. I don't know. I think it's just going to be too much pink. I'm just going to try the gold. If I don't like it, I'll change it later. But right now, I'm going to go without it for a second. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. So, of course, this, when you get it in here, you will definitely have to twist it because one side is like a, just a shimmer. And one side is gold. Can you all see? Shoot. Can't get used to this camera. Can you all see the difference? One's like the little satiny sheen. The other's got the gold. So you have to definitely twist it when you do the bow. So let's see. How big? I don't want huge loops, but we will have to have several in order to... Let's see here. about four inch loops I guess from the looks of it okay so we'll do four inches well actually four and a half or five because I forget the end of the board is four so be about four and a half five inches I guess then I'm gonna take it over twist this side see if I can put that over here where that'll oh yeah Okay, bring it over, twist it to where that little satiny looking side is up. And bring it around to where the glitter side is showing up. You know, it's a little bigger than the other side, so we'll just slide it through a little more. You can either eyeball it, or another trick I was showed, you can bring the loops up and see if they match, which you can tell. They are right about even, so we'll leave it that way and we'll bring them up. Again, twist it when you bring it to this side to where the satin sheen is up. And just bring it, curl it over. You can lay it on top of this loop. That way you can get the loops all the same. And just kind of squish it down a little bit. All right, then bring it over, twist this side to where the satiny sheen is going up. And the bigger leaves I got from Michaels uh, Michaels um, had a awesome like tropical summer theme this year and when I went there I was like oh my gosh all this stuff will go awesome with this rail so I and it was like 50% off um, when I went to a different Michaels it was 40% so when I first went, it was 50, which a couple days later, I went to the other ones, and they went up to 40 for some reason. I don't know what the big deal is or why, but whatever, I guess. All right, so there's two. All right. Bring it, twist it up to where the satiny-looking shiny side's up. We want our glitter side showing. And again, you can just keep stacking it. However many loops of the same. I think I may do, I don't know, 
four. So there's three on that side. So, all right. Yeah, all of it come from Michael's, so. I'll give the SKUs and stuff in the comments um, after the live. Several people asked for them, so. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna do four loops, I believe. So, go ahead and bring this over. It's about the same. And twist. Come back over here. About the same. Okay, so I got my four. Bring this over and twist it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of bring them out here a little bit. All right, and then I'm going to do three loops of a smaller size, I think. Hello. All right, and I want to go, I want to make it to where you can tell about an inch or so. Hope you all can see, it's kind of hard. I guess I should move up a little bit more. I just kind of want to bring everything to me, but make it to where you can tell a noticeable difference, about an inch or whatever. And I want to do, I think, three loops on each side of that. There we go. This and bring down. And like I said, if you want to make sure they are the same length on both sides, all you gotta do is bring the loops up, and they're pretty much the same size. So, all right. And then I just lay them on top of each other. Kind of get the right size for all the loops once we've seen that they're the same size. Oh, I love this baby bow maker with these rails. They're perfect for this, man. Especially this like tinier ribbon too. So that was one of the main reasons I use the smaller one because it's the smaller ribbon and I don't know it just I like it better with these okay I'm trying to hurry guys I can't chat and go quick and I suck at all that I'm sorry I'm trying to hurry I think with as many lives as I've done, I'd be a little quicker, but okay. So I got the three. So let's take those and separate them. And then I'll do the two and go a little smaller. Woo! Glitter everywhere! Well, not really everywhere. This don't shed nowhere near as bad as some glitter ribbon I have seen. So, all right, and again. You want to go just a little bit smaller. That way you can tell the difference in the loop size. And I'm just going to go two on this. So. One day I'll be like Lori and all them and try and keep it at an hour. It's kind of hard to do sometimes, especially when you're not quite sure how you're going to make it. that side. There's that. All right. And bring the ribbon down. Whew. That's a lot of bow. <laughs> I 
lot of bow. Okay. Alrighty. Then here you can use a zip tie and then another zip tie to put it on the board or you can use the pipe cleaners they gave you. Um, I think I'm going to use a zip tie to I haven't got very far to go to the board. Well, maybe I better use a pipe cleaner. Just in case. Okay. So, now, the trick is getting this off of here. I'm not messing it up. <laughs> oh, trust me, G-Man. I have tons of issues too, girlfriend. Uh-oh. I'm not getting my... My tails. I had, I mean, practice. Oh my goodness, did I ever practice? Practice, practice, practice. And there's tons of videos from Lee, um, Leah from uh, the Easy Bow. Um, which she, you know makes these little kid bow makers. She does the deluxe. She's got several different ones. The stow and go. Um, you going it. Here I am. I'm going to lose my stack. That's my problem. I can't get the zip tie. There we go. I also got Regina with, um, the Probo. I mean, there's all kinds of awesome ladies out there. Y'all can watch on YouTube to learn how to do many different bows. Whatever bow maker you do have, there's all kinds of YouTube tutorials you can watch to learn how to make the different bows. Okay, and then I just took the pipe cleaner and slid it in. That way I can go ahead and zip tie this now. Like I said, trust me, it took me a long time, and I, here lately I'm stuck on doing the same bow, so I need to go and watch Leah and Regina and all them too, because I got several different bow makers, and learn how to do some different bows. <laughs> okay, move that out of the way. Yeah. That. All right. I'm telling you, this is a ribbon. It's it's awesome because it. Look how good that's curling. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Awesome ribbon. I'll try and make a bow tutorial one day. Notice I said one day. Um. Yeah. I, I, I won't hold my breath. No, I'm just kidding, Marianne. Yeah, that is the hardest thing, is trying to keep your, your stack, which is the the thickness of the bow. Because you got to keep that. If not, like, it'll screw up the bow every time. But it depends on what bow maker. Now, if you use a pro bow, you kind of stick it in beforehand, and it, it's you can't screw up the stack when you use it. But some of these others, it is pretty easy to do, so. Okay. Yeah, it is. It's some good ribbon, dude. It likes to curl pretty good. Okay, so let's bring this down. And. Where I want to put this. I'm gonna stick it right in here. Hopefully there's some holes right in here. Oh yes, there it is. Just perfect. Alright, so again, sorry I'm gonna have to bring the board over to me where I can get it lifted up and get this pushed down through. Mm, excuse me, y'all. All right. 
hardest part is putting the dag on attachments or bowls or whatever. Oh my goodness, Marianne. I don't know. I went to Best Buy and got my laptop because I don't I don't know a whole lot about them. Made Randy go go with me and to get mine because I don't I don't know like too much about them. So we went to Best Buy in Saratoga Springs there. And... All right, you're there. There we go. I think. Oh, I think it got it. Yeah. Jean Ann, go and um, if you can't really get the pipe cleaner. Go and get some of the floral wire to where it is a little easier to slide under the bow and you can bring it up and twist it on the top. Don't twist it hard, but twist it enough to where that stack isn't going to move and then bring it up off and then you can twist that to the back and twist it tighter and then put a zip tie on it. You can try it that way. I had to do it several times that way myself in order to get it right. But... That is, it's tons of practice. Tons and tons of practice. So, okay. So the bow ended up, let's see if I can turn this big boy over, going on the outside and the middle. So bring it back over here. And since I ain't really got to worry about the mesh, because this is all kind of flat right here. I don't know. It's just one thing I learned. Of course, I learned that too by using the Pro Bow or the, yeah, Pro Bow the hand or whatever. Using it because I use the, the wire for it. It just made things a little easier. Alright. Turn this stuff back around. Come on. Work these bad boys around here. Start fluffing our bow here. Like I said, this, oh my gosh, this ribbon is off. Awesome, awesome. Probably should have done what I like to do and put that gold loop there. I'll do it later. Just get these fluffed up and then we'll get them. where I want here. I guess I could move on over into the thing. I'm sorry. I just automatically want to bring this to me. One thing I don't like about the pipe cleaner, I didn't get it in there tight enough. And can't really move this around how I want it. All right, get there one day. This side. Oh, he's probably gonna kill me because I'm taking so long. I'm sorry.
Yeah, I think I probably will go back and um, put my gold tie through the middle of the bow. I don't know. Just loop it out there for right now. Okay. Shoo, my mercy. All right, so there's that. And I need to All right, I'm just going to place this stuff in here. Y'all seen me how to do it. So I'm just going to place it in here. Kind of give me the overall finished effect. That way we can hurry up and get off of here. And like I said, I'm going to just take this little flower and probably glue it right in there to hide the hole. All right, so that, let's see. Grab a couple more of the hibiscus and add in here, I believe. Let's see. I'll just place them because um, I ain't going to keep you all on here too much longer. Ooh. And then lost its scut. Um, Those for these. Got to find a couple of stems to add these to and put in, probably. Okay. So, go ahead and slide that for a minute. I don't know if I'm gonna light how that's growing up. I think I'm gonna put places actually. Let's see what it looks like. I don't wanna interfere with my bow too much. Okay. All right. All right. So there's that. Grab. stand up guys so I get like an overall visual here I'm gonna add that to the top here actually I need to get me one of those wreath boards so I can kind of like I don't like that either. Hmm. Yeah. Put this other one since I cut that too short. What I'm going to do is place them 
I don't go back and zip tie. Where's the six? I don't know. I thought about adding more of those, but maybe not, I guess. I do think I'll probably add those in there. I'll definitely. Ladies, I'll cut them off. I don't want these sticking out. Alright, I'm going to take these shorter ones. couple of those up in there. It's just a bit much. Mm -hmm. All right, he's just gonna end up fighting me, aren't you? I'll just get a stem. Those in there. Stem for this too. Let's see. I have one over here. Said. I just want to place these in here so I can show you all the overall effect and then let you all go because I've had you on here. I ain't even added the legs in yet, but I'll add the legs in. Then you all will see the picture because I'm just going to add them probably right in here up underneath all this and the legs will be sticking down. Let's see what this looks like down in there. have to use one or the other. I'll just E6000 that in there. Just kind of have that hole. Might even put one of the other flowers in there too. Let's see what that'll look like. Kind of help blend it in a little bit. Might just hot glue it in there, but I don't want to hot glue it either. Come on. No, it's going to kind of overshadow the welcome. So let me just stick to this right here. And, all right. Do the rest of my penny I rats there we go. Corner sticker on it. And 
take the leaves off of it. And I'll probably just take these and kind of just cut them in half and just kind of add them in as fillers. But I'm going to stick it in here for right now. Alright. That way, like I said, it draws not one here forever. Hopefully we can keep that together. So I'm going to bring it up so you all can see it. Okay. And try and bring it around here where nothing too much falls off. Because I don't want to, like I said, keep you all on here for too much longer. Then I'm just going to have to adjust to make sure things ain't covering up everything. Alright, I'll have to back up. Ah. There it goes. Okay, what do y'all think? Shoot, still need to back up. This thing would end up being pretty big. Alright, what y'all think? I'm not done done with it. I'll add in more of the plumeras here, there, and yonder to fill in. But and then add the little legs, and then I'll take a picture. So, but here's my version of the wreath rail. Like I said, you don't get all the flowers in the wreath rail. I added those myself. So, but there it is. 